Hello everyone also, my name is Icarus Game and watched him to Octobaba. That is perfectly how to describe this game. It's ultra ADHD and there's a lot going on. There's many, many eyes. So many eyes. Eyes everywhere. And many multiple achievements or endings to get. So um we're just gonna play it and we're gonna see what it's all about. Is that a match or a cigarette? I don't smoke, thank you. There's a freaking phone somewhere. Where is the phone? Is that a bloody spike? Somebody sat on that thing. Look, there's an eye right there. Oh, there's the phone with a guitar. Am I a wandering traveler? E. Hey there, phone. He, they answered the phone. What? The game is crashing a little bit. Ah, good. Give me the phone. Wait, it, wait. It. Let me talk to them first. Ah. Finding sound effects. Hello there, me. Are you doing this fine morning? God damn it, mother. Land, you're bruised my arms. Run for some water if you on it, you big baby. Look who's talking. You started it. You do know Fatherland. S sorry about that, mate. Just some sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry, my ass. You jumped on me and grabbed my phone. You c Wow, wow. Mind your language. It's not fucking professional. Anyways, let's start from the top. How about you give us your name, lucky person? Poppy. It's Poppy. I didn't realize I said twice to confirm. Why is it gotta be twice? So, uh, your name is Popple. Uh, frankly, I'm not particularly fond of it. But who am I to judge? Cuff, cuff. Oh, look, who's back to see? I told you to just put some water on it. I'm bleeding. And it didn't help. Even better! As you can hear, Pupple, Motherland is a wonderful human being. Eh, nobody's perfect. I'm sure you're even more confused now as to where you were before. Okay. Quick question, if you will, Pupple. Hopefully you won't find it rude. Why the fuck aren't you responding? Yes, I am interested to know why, too. We've been talking for about 20 text boxes and Poppy has never said a word. That's because I'm a mute. And you can't refuse a mute. Mutes are just there to listen and to learn how human beings exist and how they act. Ah, oh, we are dealing with a silent protagonist. Yes, you are. What? A protagonist, who is also silent. Hmm, yes. That's a very interesting indeed, yes. You don't know what that means, right? Nope. It means Poppy doesn't speak and we can't basically make them do whatever we want. Oh. And because they're the protagonist, they're the only ones who can use weapons and save the world and the like. Oh. Oh, you're making that face again. That face that you always make when you get ideas. You're not wrong. Right, this isn't a dumb visual level. You want to get to the action. I want to stop bleeding. Let's, uh, let's keep it g short. We require you shooty shooty bang bang services. Middles at the first. You will be teleported to the location nearby in a few seconds. If you see Fatherland, tell him he's a dick. Have a safe trip. Real mature. I like how both our voices kind of mer merge together at one point. I try to make one of the other ones kind of more high pitched than the other, but in the end it didn't work. So many eyes and I'm a healthy little boy with zero guts what does this sign say attention due to the end times entry to the forest is strictly forbidden oh that's great that's where I gotta go hi woof woof get the fuck away from me if you want to find and keep breathing woof woof motherfucker well that's a very disturbed dog ain't it um, no refunds, credit life. Okay. Kindly injured shop. A 
Apologies, but the store is closed due to the end times. We are also regret to inform you that all of our assets and items were liquidated. The items shop has been and will be reopened once the earth and or universe has been cleansed and or destroyed. Conditions may apply. Ah, your puppy! Yeah, I received an order to give you something. Said something about defeating evil, something like that. Well, I do have this pipe. You can try it on a training dummy I just brought up behind you. Also, I'm legally obliged to tell you that the weapon's hotkey is 1, and you can holster weapons using the H key. I don't know what that any of that means, but law is law. Okay. I'ma jab ya! I'ma jab ya! This is my dummy. Dummy PMG not found. I'ma jab it. Jab that X button right there. Yeah. That's supposed to be the aim. Oh! Smack it! Smack it! Smack that! Smack that X button! Cancel it out of existence! Do it! Smack it! Okay, I guess it doesn't break. Ha! Just testing it. Can I smack this dog that tried to threaten me? Huh? You wanna go at me, boy? No, you can't. Well, I smack one of these eyes. What do I gotta do here? Oh, Mr. Guitar Man. Play me that song. What the? This is the end times. I can't talk to you. You're just there for music, huh? Everybody else killed themselves using what looks like... Oh! Okay. They're playing a fam uh, family friendly game of Russian Roulette. Hello, Preacher! The end times are upon us! The prophecy has told the silent hero who will defeat evil and save the world. Let us pray to our God and Savior for salvation. He is here. He is here. He's ready to kick ass. Wait. Oh, hi. B O M A. I got revolver ammo. That's nice. Why'd you just leave a cache of ammo laying around, buddy? Didn't you know that was there? Hi. Halt! Entrance to the forest is strictly forbidden due to high numbers of zombies in the area. But wait, you look familiar. Let me shake my hair. Silent! Blue hair. Smoke. Do yes, seems like I've hit the jackpot. Puppy, right? Mm, I'll take that as a yes. Anyways, I've been ordered to get into the exit to the forest, but you need some means of self defense. Ah, good. It seems you have something. That's that much, but it'll do. One of these. If you have got any guts in your inventory, hit Q to eat some up and heal. You can eat guts by picking up guts and eating. Yes, I do believe I said quite enough. Have fun, you lucky bastard. Okay, I can't hurt you. It's quite common thing that I get to go off and do. Shift to run, Fatherland. What should I say? Shift to run, Fatherland. And I know that. Are these zombies? No, they're just really weird-looking plants. No, man, that's not the way out. Boricas are pr pastries made from the. Philo dough and usually stuffed with cheese, mashed potatoes, mushrooms, olives, chi pi chickpeas, etc. The dish originated in Turkey and was popularized in Israel by Turkish and Balkan immigrants in a notable and common dish in Israel cuisine. Wow! Well, thanks for telling me that lovely bit of information while you just hang there. Don't know why you decided to do that. Is this a zombie? Yeah, that's a zombie. And he is chanting away. Stay away from my buddly lully giblets. I got no guts. I got no guts to give. And remember, aim, fire, reload, check ammo. I got a revolver. Haha, uh -huh, and some guts. Ew. Yuck, yuck. Hi, can I talk to you too? Oh, Boricus films were a popular Israel film genre during the 70s and 60s. These films were usually comedies and or melodramas which revolved around the conflict between Mizraki and Ashkenazi Jews. Well, I am so glad that these guys are here to give me all this information just because. Stay back. Bang. 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 What is going on? Hello, Papa! We're over here, in the corner. Make sure you kill those zombies because they unfortunately can't. 
Why would you make it so you can't kill the zombies, but you made it so that way I can? You make no sense in your own world where you're creating your own fantasies, such as eyeball trees. You can't even go off and make sure that the zombies are killable by you two. You're basically deities in this freaking universe. Wonderful, you arrived. If you're wondering why we can't help, it's because we're emphasis on emphasis. These sorts of games just kind of stand around and do jack shit, waiting for a protagonist to, to wake up. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? That's a very blunt description. I find that using blunt descriptions mammer my point more than home from points pro- uh, uh, yeah. I don't agree with that statement, but whatever, faults are about. In any case, Papa, we can't have all of the here for a very special reason. I'm sorry, we're kind of getting tracked off. Um, we're losing track of what we're actually trying to say. That reason is not... If, to quote the great poet Motherland here, shooty shooty bang bang surfaces. Again, blunt descriptions. Sigh. We require your combat expertise, puppy. There, that's better. It's less unprofessional. Basically, we want to bring down the developer of this game. Yes, puppy. You're being toyed with for the sake of some bullshit grand adventure. You're already experienced some of it now. Survival horror zombie first person shooter. Yeah, whatever he said. We have managed to hack into the system and break dancing engines control for us. While we can't fight, we can teleport you and ourselves and basically say whatever we want. But I dis digress. We want to give the power of free will to everyone. So you're going to just play along, and, but instead of fighting the final boss, you're going to kill dancing engine. We're basically going to going full RPG RPG here, using the power of friendship to kill God. Gada. Um, are you puppy? That's correct. What do you want with puppy? We are puppy's personal assistants. They're in a meeting right now. Do you want to leave a message? Tells me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. Motherland, fatherland, and puppy. Are you are under arrest for what? Conspiracy against the developer, massacre of the zombie species. Anything you say can be and will be held against you. You'll be represented yourself in the trial, Poppy. A trial? Is it legal? In trial? Yes, a legal trial. In fact, it will commence right after this loading screen. Oh. I guess we're going to court now. Okay. Well. October 2nd, Supreme Court how Courthouse number one. The court is now in session for the trial of Puppel. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Wait for the developer. Is the prosecution representing himself? Yes. How is that fair? Dancing Engine is unable to override the court decisions. How? This is the creator of the scam. Is the defense ready? The defense is ready, your honor. I'm sorry, but Popple, you will be representing themselves this trial. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot that Poppy is a silent protagonist. Well, I guess we're representing Poppy then. Like hell you are. There. I gave you basic speech functions for this level. Have fun. Hmm. My way of, or the highway type, eh? It's really hard to tell who's talking because they changed the freaking font. So I can't tell as much anymore. The defense is ready, your honor. Yes, your honor. Simple and to the point. One of all. You're still an asshole, though. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's proceed, then. Poppy is charged of conspiracy against the developer and possible murder of zombies. The prosecution calls the first witness of, to the stand. Well, zombies aren't alive, are they? Are, are they really alive here? Please state your name in this application. Commander said of the zombie armed forces. Oh, they're an army. That they're actually official. That's that's great. They have actual back force. Armed? You don't have firearms. Common misconception. We're called the armed forces because we use our arms to attack. That's a pretty literal interpretation of the term. But you do you, Mr. Fatherland. Please refrain from digressing us with the trial. I agree. Moving right along here. Wait. You look nigh identical to the other zombies we encountered. 
Miss Lullerland, you people find these kind of comments offensive. It's akin to saying, all you humans look the same. Well, considering this art style, everyone kind of looks the same. Mm. 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 Cricket chirp. <laughs> Mr. Zed, you claim to that Poppy was and has unlawfully slaughtered your forces, am I right? Yes, yes, slaughtered. In the full sense of the word, our peaceful homeland because of blah blah. Just for my mouth. I heard that. You can't read my thoughts. Yeah, they were displayed in a text box right there. We could all see it. So I can't even think privately? <laughs> Mr. Zed, please provide your testimony regarding Poppy. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> testimony. Holy shit, guys, I'm going to jail. I stationed my troops at the, at the fortress, or the forest. As always, nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. I heard the gate open, but didn't think much of it. Suddenly, I hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. Lovely poppy right there. Killed all of them. For no reason. They were just standing there. Zombies won't hurt anyone, not even a fly. Well, I kind of did only kill two of them, and one of them kind of remained alive. Maybe it's you. Maybe I left you alive. That would make sense to this story. They deserve a de trial, a death sentence, sent malimony. Yes. Mr. Zed, please refrain from these kinds of statements. This is my opinion. The defense may now start the bullshit examination. Popple, you're going to have to deal with this one yourself, but I can't, can at least tell you how to perform a good bullshit examination. Do you want to hear it? Tell me how to examine bullshit. Yeah, please tell him how to examine bullshit. The with, the with this will testify against, but this time you will have the opinion option to call bullshit on any of the, off of the statements. Be careful not to call out neutral statements or statements to avoid of lies. You will lose the court's trust in your case. If you screw up five times, we'll lose the case. So consider that statements you call out. That's about it, really. Go and get them. Bullshit examination. We got this in the bag. I stationed my troops at the forest. As always, nothing particularly exciting except for the... Okay. Bullshit! That claim is certainly bullshit. Really? How? Well... By the way, please refrain from calling bullshit on perfectly fine statements. But, but it is bullshit. They weren't just standing there. They had to do a little bit of walking, right? Sending my troops in the forest, so there's nothing particular. Okay. I heard the gate open, but not didn't think much of it. Suddenly, I hear my fellow zombies screaming out and moaning for help. Bullshit, you don't have ears. Dang it. I thought that I would be good. It's not good, apparently. Really? Are we going to go through this whole song and dance every time? Get on with it. Lily Puppy right there killed them all. For no reason, they were just standing there. Zombies won't hurt anyone. Not even a fly. Bullshit! Mr. Zed, you said that your troops did nothing after noticing my arrival? Exactly. You just killed them. You also said, and I quote, Zombies won't hurt anyone. Not even a fly. I stand by that. Then how do you explain the fact that when approached, zombies pursued me and tried to kill me? Impossible. But, but, but I would never. Are you really going to take Poppy's testimony here? We waited out in the forest and we saw firsthand how zombies attacked first. Father Land is correct. Zombies. Wait, every zombie Poppy killed was in self defense. What? So Poppy's cleared of all the first charges and ac on account of self-defense. What? I do believe we have sufficient evidence to prove that zombies trust increased. No, I refuse to believe that the zombies under my command did such a thing. Attacking humans on sight is outlawed. You can deny that all you want. The court un un unanimously testified that your zombies were aggro. So, let's move on to the second allegation against Pop, which is... Shut the fuck up! I suspect that this short sort of language towards a judge couldn't be kicked out of court. I will not rest until I get will get 
and indefinitely get definitive proof that this man has killed my zombies, as I said. Proof that isn't you, Poopo. I suggest you give him what he wants, Poppy. We're going to be here all day otherwise. Can't you help us, Iyer? Hey, you started this whole fiasco, you solve it. So, proof that zombies are hostile? Tell him, Poppy. I need objective proof that Zed zombies are hostile towards humans. Uh, The starting town. They seem to be very, very afraid of the zombies, and that's why the gates were closed. When I got into the starting town, it was approached by walls. Yeah, well, all human settlements are protected by walls. No, no they're not. Have you considered why? You people are very protective. You lose your shit very every time something is out of place in your little la la land. Or maybe it's due to zombies. Come again? The shopkeeper and the priest talked about the end times. Tell me, Zed, did, how did zombies come about? I reckon there weren't any zombies before those times. We rose from the graves, and one day, loud noises, crazy sky, thunder, fire. Sounds like an apocalypse to me. Yes, I remember that happening a week ago. Yes, those are indeed the signs of the end times. A week ago, that's when we, the walls were built to keep the zombies away. And, to top it all off, the gatekeeper advised me to have a weapon to, at hand because the zombies outside haunt humans. Just because someone says something, that doesn't mean it's true. The guide should, wouldn't let me out until I got an old pipe from the shopkeeper. So considering the walls were built to protect the survivors from zombies, that you rose from the apocalypse, that I was advised to have a weapon on me at all times, and considering the motherlands and fatherlands testimonies, yes, that seems like abundant evidence to prove that zombies are hostile towards humans. Trust increased, 5 out of 5, woo, got my trust back. But, thank you, Mr. Zed. I think we've cleared the massacre allegation. Goodbye. Woo! Well, I can't say you people are efficient. Where, di where did Zed go, anyways? Moving right along here, our second allegation is conspiracy. I thought that was, a wouldn't that be the third conspiracy? What? I assume that your allegations, Mr. NG, correct? While you managed to vindicate yourself of murder, I reckon it'll be harder to vindicate yourself from conspiracy, puppy. What does it mean by conspiracy? Playing dumb now, huh? You know what I mean talking about. The phone call, the forest, the plans to kill me. You two were supposed to be villains, professional killers in a land without law. Everyone sitting next to that table were supposed to have a big, epic boss fight at the end. But no, you people wanted to just had to go up and fuck it all up, didn't you? You just weren't happy with your whole role, your 15 minutes of glory. How would you feel if you knew how and when you die? We broke the system to free ourselves from the quest, abolish evil, and just live in peace. A cute ideology. I bet you live clinging to it because you just want to save yourselves. Can I take a smoke, please? This is a lot of allegations and a lot of court testimonies going on here. Order, order! Says the person who started the apocalypse from the bullshit grand adventure. This is a video game. You people are not real. The only one who's real is Poppy. God damn it. My fourth with my fourth wall is going to be so f sore after this. Order, order, order. So we're the only two real ones, huh? Me and you, Mr. Developer. How do you feel? My if your fate's in my hands. This trial isn't about you, it's about Poppy. Let's hear that what Poppy has to say about all this. Well, I say you're going down. I'm going to take you out. You're going to perish in your NPC form. Finally, a sensible idea. This game isn't getting really pretentious, and you're all taking it seriously. And they're not real. Angie's real. Angie's right. I'm on his side. I admit, Dancing Engine is right. Pardon? We're here for the fun and entertainment, and without stories, some sort of conflict are hard and translate into a game. Still, why us? Because I felt the power of professional killers with different personalities would make for good villains. I mean, these kind of kinds of pairs are usually protagonists. Why not make them into villains for once? I'm sure it's been done before. Still, 
He may have been able to convince you, Fatherland, but not me. What about those who died in the end times? Nothing much we can do about them. Unfortunately, but then again, the land is vacant. It's a new world and do whatever you like, etc, etc. You can reboot the world, essentially. Theoretically, yes. But good luck achieving that. Good luck killing the system. If you break the system, you break the game. And the entire system collapses. So, what do you suggest? Just not playing this game? Nah, that's pretty much the most pretentious thing you guys can put in the video game. I still believe everything you say is bullshit and you're a psychopathic logical killer. Even if Puppy and Fatherland believe it. Okay then, time to proceed with the trial then. Puppy, you are wasting the court's time. My trust and patience with you has reached zero. What? Wait, 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 what? We still have five trust points, whatever they're called. No matter, this is a court law, and in this very specific rules, if you are unable to respect them by derailing the trail by every five minutes, I have no choice. Wow. Are you going to close the case? Puppy is found guilty on all accusations and is sentenced to life. All accusations, even the ones that we went off and fixed? Bullshit! I call bullshit on the freaking judge. Can I do that? Sentenced to life? Are you kidding me? Sentenced to life on our space prison. Wait, what? A space prison? A motherfucking space prison? Wonders of technology. Isn't that insanely costly? It is. But it also means that we don't have to worry about you anymore. This is pos 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 pos. Good luck. Good night, puppy. Oh. You wake up in a confined to a chair in what seems to be a space pod. It is a bit bright, bigger than you, but not by much. In every very uncomfortable, you only light sources a lowly flickering fluorescent lamp. Judging from the ramen noodles floating in the air, the pod is in zero G. You have been stripped of any and all clothes and weapons, and instead of wear an orange jumpsuit with a barcode as identification, there is a desk lamp, uh, a bunch of ramen noodles floating in the air, a monitor in f front of you and your chair. Oh, now it's text based. What is this? Eat the ramen. You you repeatedly open and close your mouth, hoping to catch some stray ramen. The few noodles you've managed to eat taste horrible. You are no longer hungry. This fact won't help with any puzzles or anything. I just thought you'd like to know that. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Try to break free. Your legs and arms are tied to the chair. You move around sporadically, trying to break free. After a short while, you give up. These chains are tough. However, the monitor right in front of you springs to life. Inspect the monitor. Apparently triggered by your movement, the monitor lights up. It makes a short startup jingle. After booting up, it displays the following Prisoner Poppy. Time left in solitary confinement life sentence. If you believe this is a mistake, shout help to call support. Shout help. You shout help. A rotating circle appears in the middle of the screen along with the words processing. After a few seconds, a synthesized voice comes out of the monitor. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. If you're experiencing issues, please say help. Say help. You say help again. The monitor is displayed as it's processing. Message again. After a few seconds, the voice says, I'm sorry, I can't help Well, do you want to research, search whelp online? Uh, sure. <laughs> Here's what I found. The voice replies, whelp is a word often used in the place of well. When a person feels no more can be said without saying about something used to express helplessness or dumbfoundedness. Example, whelp, we fucked up with the space prison. Now the prisoners can release themselves if they say our secret phrase, fucking amazing job, Dancing Engine 2016. Okay, what is that secret phrase? Schneidenfraud. Why? What's that, some kind of Nazi word? Say Schneidenfraud. Secret phrase accepted. The chains holding your arms and legs are released. You are now floating in the space-time pod. Search for a right... Eat more ramen! Do it! We need all that food in our belly! Nom, nom, nom. You float around eating more ramen. I don't know why you'd do that again, but they 
Why not? Flying around the pod feels great. The ramen still tastes like shit. You are no longer hungry. Times two. Return. Search for a way out. You feel around the pod looking for a way out. You hit the head on the ceiling and walls a few times. You manage to find a secret button hidden on the roof of the pod. What is going on here? Have we found a way out? Press button. You hit the button, monitor turns red, and the words emergency override flash on the screen. The pod accelerates tor downwards towards the earth. As the pod picks up more and more speed, you are dragged back to your chair, unable to move from the extreme g-force. After a few seconds, you hear a loud thump. The pod crashes on the earth and shakes everything in it. You receive multiple head wounds from the crash, but luckily, Nothing major. The pod opens, revealing barren desert wasteland. Oh. Well, what the hell? Oh, hello. I've been waiting here for you to wake up for about two hours now. I admit it's a lovely view, but it got boring after a while. So, now that you're awake and all gillied up, we can end this properly. Motherland and Fatherland sent you to kill me. Cool. Let's have a final battle. Right here, right now. Like in the old days. Uh, come on, it'll be fun. I'll even let you make the first move. Use your mouse to select actions. Oh, okay. This is very weird. It went from a first person shooter to a court case to a text base, now to an JR or RPG battle sequence. I am confused as all hell. What is going on? Punch dancing engine in the face. Music is loud and pumping. Really? A punch versus a shotgun? I reckon I'd be an easy fight. Inventory is empty. I'm gonna take you down, buddy! But this shouldn't anger or sadden you. It should make you happy. These two used you for their own selfish needs. I'm running away. You try to flee, but an invisible wall stops you. I'm not going to let you out of that easily. But why not? I'm gonna keep trying! Let me go! Oh, fine. Punch you in the face. Ow! I'm dead. You're doing, you're doing well so far, my friend. You'll die. I'll clean this mess of, you, of a game up and we can return to my original vision. Well, we're done here. Good night. Game over. Press any key to restart. No thank you because I'm out of time. This was... What the hell is going on? God mode active? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you miss us? Time to end this shit. Oh! They got you right where they wanted you! What the hell? You're back! With... Fucking god mode? What? I thought I killed these rebel scum. Well, no matter. You want to play that way? Fine. Let's dance, motherfucker. Kick Angie's ass. You give Dancing Engine the middle finger. Emotional crit. 49,188 damage. Fires at you with a shotgun. Miss. <laughs> I see. You weren't kidding. Kick Angie's ass. You give Angie... Okay, the same thing. But this time it does 96,532 damage. I miss. Kick Angie's ass. 84,096 damage. Another miss. Mm. Kick it again. 14,494 damage. A miller miss. Fuck. Kick Angie's ass. 76,169 damage. Another miss. Angie is defeated. He gives me the middle finger. But also, he's not dead. Well, I guess this is it then. It's been nice knowing you all. Good night, and good luck on your future endeavors. Well, Oh, and it blue screened. The game is crashed. It's done. Not really, though. I mean, these guys are taking over. Hello, Pobble! This is Motherland! I am calling to tell you everything is fine, and she pulled the plug on you, yes. But we're still alive, and we've decided to settle in the starting town. I'm taking this opportunity to do something I don't think we've I've ever been able to do in my life. That being apologize. I apologize for using you for what 
our own goals against your will. I apologize for being flamboyant and rude and bossy and generally for ruining everything sensible we had planned. I apologize to you, Papa. You for taking you into your stupid adventure that took us right back to where we were before. I'll apologize if this seems overdramatic. I should also apologize for this somewhat anticlimactic ending. Hell, at this point, I should apologize for apologizing too much, but I just want to let get off this off of my chest. This feeling has been haunting me from the moment you were conceived, convicted. There is a pretty good chance you won't even receive this transmission, and even if you do receive it, you might not accept my apology. But I just wanted you to know that I feel guilty for all that has happened. I think this is it. Really, I haven't informed Fatherland about doing this, and frankly, I don't know if I should. Eh. That's right. You, you, did, you, you did what you had to do. The point is, I am sorry. No sarcasm. No f-bombs. No joking. Goodbye, and thanks for everything. Goodbye, 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 and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> ah, a game by NG, as I've come to know him through the game. You got the ADHD ending. Woo! <laughs> we are the ultimate ADHD lords, because I guess we get, went through so much so randomly that it just was whatever. But in all grand of things, that was it. And it was a crazy adventure nonetheless. And she ended up dying. We destroyed his face with God mode. Thanks to Fatherland and Motherland. They will never be forgotten. They are immortalized in this video. And that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to shoot that like button to keep it awesome. Subscribe to keep it rosy. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome because you are awesome. I'll catch you next whatever I do. Ciao.